Oh, hey, Remnant. <clears throat> God is so amazing because um, I've actually been, um, I haven't really have been getting great responses from, I'm like um, looking for people to pour back into their business. And I just think the devil is stif stifling this post, but it doesn't matter. God has been orchestrating this. And lo and behold, um, I was arguing with a Pharisee online and um, I was just, you know, I just thought about uh, this gentleman that I'm going to uh, post today. So I like tagged him and, you know, I knew he was going to do the right thing. He was just like, don't stress, leave it alone. You know, men always reasonably thinking gets on my nerves sometimes. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so anyway, but then I was like, I went back to his page and I was like, wait a minute, he sells merch. So I found my business that I want to pour into today. Um, so as you guys know, I am looking uh, to support uh, black owned businesses. You know, recently I found out that I was Hebrew and, um, you know, I, I had been given money to, uh, the fake Israel. And because, you know, I was like, you know, we gotta make sure like, cause God don't play about Israel. I ain't never said nothing bad about them. Even with all the stuff that's going on in the news, I was like, I ain't touching that because I know like you don't play with Israel come to find out we are Israel and a lot of people, including ourselves, got some repenting to do. So this is my way of repenting. And that is by um, repenting, changing my ways. And now I want to pour back into the true Hebrew community. If you are African-American and you came through the transatlantic slave uh, line, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that you are uh, Hebrew because Africans didn't sell Africans, Africans sold Hebrew. So, um, and as you guys know, I watched the Masters of Voice Prophecy blog and God is the one that revealed this to his children through his prophetess. And um, God has also revealed one of our leaders who is uh, Pastor Omar Tebow. And, um, I just think God is just so amazing and he's just orchestrating and getting everything together. So without further ado, uh, this gentleman, um, you know, I don't know a lot about him, but it, it looks like he may be into film or something. So I'm sure you, you can check out his profile. Um, uh, but I just know he does really, really good videos, like quality videos. And, um, he also talks about, um, his testimony of how he, you know, really started to understand his Hebrew roots and, um, the Holy spirit and who he is. And I think you should check it out. Um, so, and he's also selling merch, which is why I want to support his business. And it's not just like, just like, you know how you people just go to the shop and just put pictures on shirts from the graphic. Like this, this man is actually designing his graphics, like literally designing his own stuff. So high quality uh, merch and high quality uh, content. So I highly think you should check it out. Without further ado, um, here is Overnightish. Shalom, all praise to the Most High. I've noticed lately that the spirit of the Antichrist has a lot of us wrapped up in the flesh, caught up in the flesh, bloodlines and, and skin color. I'm be honest with you, I think we're worried about the wrong thing. I think we should be all focusing on the teachings of Yeshua HaMashiach and trying to walk that narrow path of righteousness. Because I know a lot of us aren't. Because if we were, skin color and bloodlines wouldn't even be an issue. You know what I mean? But this is a question for the BHI and the Christian identity folks. Yes. I, I see y'all. Do you think the Most High will overlook a righteous Gentile and grant salvation to a wicked Israelite? Because if so, if, if the answer is yes, then my friend, you're calling him a liar. She noodle on that. But I love you. Read your Bible. And I'll praise to the Most High Yah. Oh yeah, check out my new merch. Proverbs 34. Mm. Yeah, you catch it on my TikTok shop. I have a lot more designs coming. I'm just making them up as I go. But Shalom, all praise to the Most High. Read your Bible, the whole Bible, and ask for the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, before you open it, so you can get some understanding here. But Shalom to the bone. <laughs>
Shalom.